Hello everybody and welcome to another SFML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to get user input and print it out to the screen. But first, why do we need to get text from the player? Well, for instance, we might want to make it so the player can enter his name. And in order to do that, we need to add another case to our switch. And the case that we want to add is uh, called SF event text entered. And basically what this does is it will check if there's text entered and it will do it in the same way that it will do in a text editor. So if you hold a key, it will go slowly, wait for a while and then go faster. And you can use the uh, control keys, you can use the shift keys to make capital letters for instance. It's way easier to use the text entered event than in order to make your own system for it. So in order to actually show something on the screen, it's actually not that difficult. The only thing that we need to do is we need to type in printf and then in here simply it percent C. So a character, we only want to print out one character, and the character that we want to print out is inside of the EVNT, so inside of the event. We need to type in EVNT, the text, the Unicode. The one thing that might happen is that the character is going to be some sort of control character, or it's going to be bigger than everything that ASCII handles, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple if statement. So if EVNT, the text, the Unicode, is less than 128, since that's a range for ASCII, it will printf the character. So now if we run this program, you will see that whenever we hit a key on the keyboard, it will actually print it out. And the one funny thing, the back, uh, backspace key is actually also working. But the only thing that's happening is it doesn't update it automatically. But if I now type, you will see that it will overwrite. So if you just type a whole lot of W's, then go back a few steps, there's a whole lot of A's, you will see that it overrides. So this is how you get text input from the player. Since you can also use the shift keys and the control keys and the alt keys, and will all give us valid characters. And if we hold a key, then what you will see, it will first only give you a single version, and then it will continuously add the key. But let's say, for instance, we want a character to move, then we don't want him to, like, if you hold the A key, then it will take a step, then wait a second, and then continue walking. What we want is that it constantly keeps walking fluently. And the way that we do that is we use something different than events. So we're going to talk about that in a later episode. This is basically all that I have to say today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.